Hello, everybody. It's Connie Stewart with SimplySimpleStamping.com. Thank you guys so much for joining me. It's time for a new Tuesday tip. So for the month of August 2022, let's have some fun. Let's create some really great cards featuring torn cardstock. Now, this isn't your normal torn cardstock. We're going to do some creative things. Today, we're going to kick things off with a really creative torn window card. Now, I've got a super easy technique because, you know, we love easy around here. I'm super excited to share this idea with you and share the cards. So let's go get started. Aren't these cards just fabulous? Do you see the little torn window that we've created? And guys, it's really simple, but what a fun and unique technique. We're going to create my cocktails card today, but I'll show you some tips and tricks with the other card here in just a minute. So first I want to go over the card stock you need to create the card. My card base is Parakeet Party. We've got this cut five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. So that's a standard A2 card, fits into a medium sized Stampin' Up envelope. I have two pieces of a polished pink. I thought this looks so pretty with that Parakeet Party. Two of these, they are the same size, four by five and a quarter. And then on top of that, we have got a piece of designer series paper. I'm going to use the, um, Pacific Point, and that is from the Brights collection. I thought that looked really nice with it. And then I've got a piece of basic white that's going to go on that other piece of the uh, polished pink. That's going to be for the inside of the card. For the front of our card, I have two more pieces of basic white. Uh, this piece here is a three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then my strip here is a one inch by three and a half inch. Now this piece here is really going to be determined on what your uh, actual uh, stamped image is going to be. So why don't we go ahead and start with that. I'm going to be using the Nothing's Better Than stamp set. This was a stamp set I am very proud of. I had the opportunity to create this one. Um, and so we're going to create a fun cocktails card because I just thought this little torn image just fit that so well. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do some stamping. I'm going to start with a Memento Black ink pad and our fabulous little cocktail glass. We're going to put that just kind of right there in the middle. And then I'm going to stamp also in my black ink. Today is A, all right? We'll come back to the rest of the sentiment here in a minute, but now let's give this some great color. And we're gonna do that with three ink pads. I have my Parakeet Party, my Daffodil Delight, and my Polished Pink. I absolutely adore two-step stamping, and that is where I can now come in with a color. And look at this, we have stamps that go right inside. So I made myself a fabulous margarita. And now we'll take our little lemon slice. Now, by the way, you could color these in, but you know, the little uh, two-step stamps make it so easy. We're gonna take that polished pink and give ourselves a pretty little umbrella. And while I've got all these pieces out, I'm actually going to take that uh, basic white. This is for the inside. Let's repeat. Um, everything that we just did with our cocktail. We don't want the inside of our card to be boring, right? We also have my favorite stamp in here is this wonderful little retro star. I think it is so cute and it kind of just tops off that fun little vintage feel. Now for the inside of my card, I'm going to go ahead and stamp my inside sentiment that says, and I'm pretty sure tomorrow will be too. And the last thing I need to work on is that sentiment on the front. Now, before I stamp this, I loved the look of the Banners Pick-A-Punch. So did you know that the Banners Pick-A-Punch has these little grooves so that when you go and slide your cardstock in there, it's set perfectly and look at that great banner. Let's do that on both sides of this cardstock. You just want to make sure it's sitting in that groove. You notice I also turn it upside down. I like to see where I'm where I'm punching. And now this is going to say cocktails and I want to kind of put that up there at the top because underneath that I'm going to say kind of day in black. So you can see we've got today is a cocktails kind of day, and I'm pretty sure tomorrow will be too. So you can kind of see what all of that's going to look like. And because I'm just crazy about that little star stamp, 
Let's add a few here. Now, I want you to realize I've got a lot of white space on this piece of cardstock, and there is a reason for that. All my stamping is done. And so now, are you ready to learn this torn image technique? Here we go. So I want to use the polka dotted side of my designer series paper. So I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to take that stamped image and I'm going to lay it right here. I'm going to kind of use it as a guide. Now, here's the thing. None of these edges are going to show. So you don't need to worry about if you hit the edge of your cardstock. I'm just going to take a pen and I'm making myself some dots. These, again, this is on the back. It's not going to show, but I want to make sure that I can see them, all right, because we're going to do a little cutting. So I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer. And the thing I want you to keep in mind is we are not going to go from dot to dot. We don't want to cut to that dot. But can you see how I'm kind of lining them up here in the groove? Now, I want to leave myself a good three quarters of an inch from that dot and three quarters of an inch from that dot. You don't need to measure anything, okay? But what we're doing is we're cutting a slit, an X, if you will, right in between those two. And you can see what that kind of um, X there into my designer series paper looks like. But you notice, I didn't go all the way. There is a reason for that, because now it is time to do our tearing. And you're going to want to choose uh, whether you want this side up or this side up. It's entirely up to you. But I'm going to go ahead and flip this over, and I'm going to start tearing along uh, these edges. And don't worry about, you know, getting things nice and straight. But there's kind of the edge of my, at the end of my card, or at the end of my designer series paper where we did that cut. And we're just going to tear again to that corner. Listen, if we're a little short, we can always come back and trim that. But we're going to cut away all of this. And you notice I'm leaving, I'm leaving some, I'm leaving that kind of X there in the middle because we need that for our rollback technique. And I have to tell you, neatness is really not going to matter too much here. Uh, we just need to trim away because that looks really awful, doesn't it? Um, I just realized I didn't get this last one. So let's get this one. All right. And that's what it looks like. Boy, it is not pretty, is it? I know. But don't worry. We're going to make it pretty here in just a second because now it's time to start rolling. So what I like to do, I just start kind of giving these like a little tight fold fold again, fold again. I'm not worried about this rolling flat, okay? I'm really not because we're going to make it look like that. And we're going to do this here on this other, on all four sides actually. So I do kind of start by just giving it um, just a tiny little fold that kind of helps me get things started. And you'll roll and roll and roll. Not to worry if you have missed any of the measurements for today's card, because I've got a free download with everything that you, you need. If you'll just go to simplysimplestamping.com or the easy way, look down in the YouTube description. I've got a direct link that will take you to my post for today. And there is a free download for you. It's going to have the measurements, the supply list, everything that you need so that you can recreate the card. I hope that you'll check that out. But now let's put our little magic torn window card together. Right, there is our rolled window. Now let me bring in that focal image on the front. And now is your time to see, do I need to tear a little bit more? Do I need to extend these corners? And you know what? I do. And I'm kind of glad it worked out that way so that I could show you. We're just going to take our scissors and we're going to give ourselves a little just a little snip here in the corners. And now we'll roll a little bit more. And you also see how that's going to give us kind of a, a nicer, neat edge. Of course, with this card, we're not really going for neat. We're going for torn, uh, which, by the way, I got to tell you, when it comes to cards for the guys, I love this torn look. I think it just kind of lends itself really nicely to masculine cards. But I thought it was just really fun with this one. So you can see how these corners can just kind of start to roll back. Now, let's give it another test. Ah, there we go. That's looking great. So now I can see that my image is going to fit inside my window. I'm going to put some adhesive on the back of one of my polished pinks. 
and add that to the center of our card. All right, now I want to adhere down this one, but this one, we're gonna kind of make it pop. So we're gonna get a little creative here. I am going to put adhesive here on the back of my sentiment because this one is going to adhere down. And I'm going to just, you notice, I'm just gonna hold it in place, all right? Just hold it in place. Oops, let's make sure that cup is straight or my glass is straight. We don't want that to be off. And do you see what I'm doing? How I'm just kind of, kind of giving myself a nice visual. And if you're sure that you're good, and I am, I'm gonna remove that and adhere it down. Do you notice it's not perfectly straight? That's right, but we're gonna hide it with this fabulous window. So let's bring in some Stampin' Dimensionals and we're gonna get a little happy, happy with the dimensionals because really that's kind of what's making this card pretty darn awesome. I wanna make sure I secure and get some here around the window itself. And then of course we wanna get down onto all four corners. So I'm pretty happy with that. Let's add this to the front of our card and very carefully, let's go ahead and center that up. Again, I don't press anything down until I'm sure that I'm good and straight. And I am. We're good there. Now, remember that front sentiment today is a cocktails kind of day. We're going to put that just with adhesive here on the bottom. And now for the inside, we simply add this gorgeous, bright, bold, and fun inside. We've got plenty of room to write our message. We'll add that there. And guys, that is how you create a very simple torn edge window. Now, I have some tips to share with you on this card because this one I did a little bit differently. And for this card, I'm using the Lovely You stamp set. And you can see how I just did some stamping here on a basic white. And by the way, that one, I cut about a three by four. I've got some Starry Sky Parakeet Party and that polished pink. So for this one, we're going to say cherished friend. We'll stamp that right in the middle. And look at that. I didn't even stamp it straight. But guys, you saw with this technique, it does not matter. I'm going to come in now with the polished pink. And let's add a few of these flowers. Remember, we want to kind of keep this towards the uh, middle of that cardstock. We don't want to go too crazy with it. So I'll add a few flowers there. Now let's come in and we'll add some leaves. Okay, do you recognize, do you see how it's going off? Don't worry about it, because I don't need all of that to show. But I do want to add some great color here around my sentiment. But we'll be losing a lot of that, and it's all good. So there is my sentiment. And so for this one, I'm going to use some Butterfly Kisses paper. This is what I want on the front. So I'm going to flip it over. And you remember this part, how we're just going to use this as a guide. I'm going to repeat that same process. Now, this pattern is a little bit busy. So I really want to make sure I can see my dots. Just repeat that cutting technique. And just a reminder, remember, you don't want to go all the way to that point. We can always cut more, but once it's cut, we can't take it away. Now, what's going to make this one different is instead of tearing here on my X's, I'm actually going to tear off these corners or these little points that are here in the center and uh, leaving myself plenty of room. Uh, this one is actually going to be a little bit tighter. It's so funny when I do this because I go, oh my gosh, it's so ugly. But we will take these now and just like you saw me do, see how we kind of flatten it and then we'll just keep turning. You know, I know another thing that some people have done is they will use um, like a bamboo skewer, something really, really thin. But do you notice with this one, this is not leaving me a whole lot. There's really not a lot hanging off of there. And do you know, I also actually also have the option, I could tear off a little bit more. You know, let me do it over here. Let's tear off a little bit more so that all we're really doing is just giving it one fold back. Again, it's all about options and it's all about creativity. You can... Uh, give yourself many rolls, or you can just roll it over once, which is what I've done here. So we're going to repeat that. Let's go all the way across. Again, I think I like it with just the single rollover so we can tear off a little bit more. 
you know, we always kind of have to look at it and know it's ugly, but it's going to look really awesome when we're done. All right. Now I can bring in my sentiment and now you see why I'm going all out there, but it worked out perfect. I'm going to put the card together in the exact same way. Only this time I've got some starry sky as my card base. That's what the inside of my card looks like. Let's cheer you up. We did everything the same, adding uh, this piece here to our polished pink and then with stamp of dimensionals, adding our window on top. You notice here, I did a little bit of um, ribbon accent and that is the polished pink open weave ribbon. But do you see my little gems inside my flowers? I thought those looked so cute. These are the solid faceted gems. Look at all those great colors that you get. And you know, this could go night of navy or in this case, it could also be starry sky. But I thought it gave just a wonderful, wonderful look. Be sure to clean up after yourself. You don't want the dog to find that. But as you can see, when we're done, we've got two incredible cards that are just very unique with that torn edge. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would love a thumbs up on YouTube. And if you have not subscribed, just click the great big red subscribe button. Click the bell right next to it so YouTube can let you know whenever I'm back with a new video. Thank you again for being here. See you next time. Bye-bye.